Hi students, in this video we will discuss about the Indian Independence Act of 1947. This on June 3rd 1947, Mount Barton has proposed a plan which is also called as Mount Barton Plan and is also called as a Partition Plan. This plan was accepted by the Congress and the Muslim League. Immediate effect was given to the plan by enacting the Indian Independence Act. This plan is nothing, these are the proposals which are present in the Indian Independence Act. So, an Indian Independence Bill on July 4th was tabled and the Royal Assent was received, Independence was tabled and it was passed in the Central Legislature and it received the Royal Assent on 18th of July on the same month and uh, it came into force on August 15, 1947, which is nothing but we received independence on the day. And let us see the provisions of the Indian Independence Act of 1947. With this act, we have ended the series of historical background of the Indian constitution. And we will have one more video of what are the salient features that were bought, that were borrowed from the other constitutions of the act, but with adaptations according to our socio-political economy. Okay. So let us look into the provisions. The Indian Independence Act, it ended the British rule and declared India as an independent and sovereign state. Sovereign state means here the British Parliament has no role, has no power in order to make any laws and with respect to the Indian territory. That is what sovereignty. And India is all independent to take any decision on its own regarding its sovereignty. At one end, when it gave independence, it also provided for the partition of the country. And it divided the central legislature and uh, it made two dominions, dominion of India and dominion of Pakistan. If you remember, as we also dis didn't discuss in this series, we will discuss later. The Nehru report of 1928 also dis demanded for the Dominion legisla Legislature for India. See, when they were asked about 1928-1930, they have given at 1947. Britishers, whatever we asked, they delayed it next 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. This is how they played with India. And the Viceroy was abolished and he was made the Governor General. And they established respect to governors for each provinces and Governor General for the whole India. Empowered the constituent assemblies to abolish any act including this act. And to frame a constitution of their own. For the both constituent assemblies that is for these two dominions the secretary of state for india was abolished and the power was transferred to the commonwealth secretary secretary of state for the commonwealth the functions were transferred to the secretary of state for commonwealth and the most important thing is a boundary commission was headed by the ratcliffe established if you remember there was a ratcliffe line a, which is a boundary line between the india and pakistan and India and Bangladesh okay and when Pakistan was separated these are the promises that were given to Pakistan so for example the West Punjab because Pakistan Punjab was divided into two parts the Western Punjab was gone to Pakistan which also contains Kartarpur corridor and it contains Sindh, Baluchistan, East Bengal and Another province is Northwest Frontier Province and District of Silhet in Assam. If you see, the referendum was in favor of Pakistan in these two places. One is the Northwest Frontier Province and the District of Silhet in Assam. It is nothing but a part of Bangladesh. With this series, we have finished the historical background of the Indian Constitution. If you see, the Indian constitution has its genesis from the company rule which had uh, got the power from the 1765 Diwani till the 1858 act and from 1858 act till 1935 act 
the decentralization has happened that is the governor general has been transformed into viceroy and the responsible governments have been uh, introduced and the direct elections and separate commune elections so what are the demands have been put by the indians but uh, the british government had intentionally delayed and they divided the sections of the indian society based on the communal lines regional lines and power politics and uh, taxation structure they used all kinds of means in order to divide and rulers okay in the next further videos we will discuss more about the modern india and we will also make more videos on geography as there were requests from so many people and uh, thank you so much